Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. I'm Frater Atreus Horse with Lance and Grail Priory of the Thelemic Order. Here at the Hermitage we have nearly 2,000 books on various topics from Thelema, magic, and the occult, to philosophy, psychology, and Eastern studies. We have a library listed on the Library Thing website, I'll put a link in the description, and I've slowly been working my way through taking an inventory and adding in the new additions as time will allow, although sadly I'm a couple of years out of date of keeping everything updated on there. I'm a big fan of the Foolish Fish YouTube channel, and if you haven't seen it already, go watch some of his videos. I think it's well worth your time. Well, periodically, when he has a few new books on hand, he'll do an unboxing video, show off the book, and talk about it a little bit. I really enjoy watching those, and I've discovered a few new books I may not have otherwise heard from watching his videos. I've decided I'd like to try my hand at it, too. I've got a, a few books I've been saving up here to open on camera, and make a little video and see how it goes so uh let's get started and let me know what you think here's our first one here i got a little my fancy book opening knife it's uh nice and sharp so we can get through this tape pretty easily and there goes my cat Mocha Moo. <laughs> Wouldn't be a video without a cat in it. Alrighty. We're getting there. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Item number one. Okay. Oh, we have. Shades and Mauve, A History of the Typhonian Tradition by Edward Gauntlet. This is a new release that's supposed to tell the history and the story of... Well, I say it's a new release. It looks like it came out in 2015. It's supposed to tell the story of the Typhonian tradition, and specifically the Typhonian OTO, started by Kenneth Grant. And uh, looks like it has a little bit to do with the uh, Typhonian trilogies, too. Looks uh, very interesting, very interesting. Weighs in at uh, 82 pages here. Well, there's our first book. Very interesting. Get on with the second one here. Here we have Lucifer Princeps by Scarlet Imprint. Actually found this at a used online bookstore of all places. 
Not in bad shape. I love the uh, texture on the cover there. This book is actually from 2015, it looks like. Published spring 2015, limited edition, strictly limited edition of 10,081 copies, in, comprising a crown edition of 1,000 copies bound in chartreuse shot silk. And I have number 584 of 1,000. Very nice. There's supposed to be a follow-up book to this called Lucifer Praxis that should be out any time now. It was supposed to be out last year, but uh, I think they're going to get it out this year. Heard this uh, ties into a number of other books by Scarlet Imprint, as we can see here. Uh, the Red Goddess, Apocalyptic Witchcraft, The Brazen Vessel, forthcoming, and Lucifer Praxis, forthcoming. There's also a third volume that's uh, in pre-order right now that is a follow-up to The Red Goddess and Apocalyptic Witchcraft called The Two Antichrist, about Jack Parsons and L. Ron Hubbard. I am waiting on that to arrive. As always, very, very beautiful edition from Scarlet Imprint. I have uh, a few of their books, as a matter of fact. Okay. On to the next one. Let's see here. This one looks like it's taped up pretty good. I'm going to figure something out here. Without causing too much damage. a box inside of another box. It is wrapped in plastic. That is wrapped in paper. <laughs> press book. I'm not entirely 100% sure what it's about, but I believe, oh yes, this book has some fantastic art in it. 
Uh, one reason I got it, not only for the art, but for Anathema Press, makes some beautiful, beautiful books. They're out of Canada. There are some. What could get down? There are some U.S. resellers, resellers that will carry Anathema, Anathema Press books. Let's see here. This is number fifty-four of seven hundred. The recalling or the retelling of the many pasts made present and whole again. And Kaideron of the Royal Art, Volume 000. zero, zero. Very interesting. Like I said, I have no idea what this book is really about. I primarily bought it for some of the beautiful prints that I saw in here. All of their books are works of art in my opinion. I like that. The symbol of Anata. That's awesome. Wow, that is gorgeous. I love the use of the vibrant red ink. That is beautiful. Man, just the art in this book is amazing. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. book is worth the price just for the art in it. This is just amazing. Definitely, definitely. Very, very beautiful book. be much of an opening if you can't see me actually opening the book but I neglected to black out the addresses so I just want to protect everyone's identity here From Anathema Press. Let's see here. <laughs> Get the light. This is Arcanum by Daniel Yates. Very pretty. Covering silver here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It looks like uh, 
Yes, I'm getting a sickle here. Four peacock feathers. Again, I'm not sure what this book is about, but uh, ooh, I love those end papers. They kind of got a little metallic sheen to them. That's beautiful. This is the ethereal edition. Limited to 200 copies. I have 193. This is another book I'm not sure what it's about, but uh, it's another one. It had some beautiful prints in it that grabbed my attention, so. Okay, it's starting to come back to me. I believe this is a book that combines photography and poetry. In a magical a magical working way. Again, I mean, we just have page after page of brilliant, vibrant, beautiful photographs. I have to dive into this and see what it's all about. I'm very impressed with this publisher. Every book I have of theirs is just a work of art. Inside and out. It's a very interesting. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And this is... There we go, Arcanum by Daniel Yates. Okay, well that's the four we're going to open for this video. Um, if it goes over well, I have some more, a few more here to open and uh, I've got more on the way and look forward to uh, seeing you guys back with us. Love is the law, love under will.